Hi lovely wine drinkers, I hope you're all well and welcome to another Thirsty Thursday. This week, as we're all raising a glass to our new monarch, I thought we'd choose some of our very own beautiful English sparkling wine to celebrate with. We have a couple to talk about and a little later I'll be telling you which one has been chosen for our special Thirsty Thursday discount, so stay tuned. It's a great time to buy English sparkling wine for several different reasons. Firstly, with the cost of champagne going through the roof, this is a great alternative. I'm not sure English sparklers will ever have the great prestige of the big champagne houses, but some of them really are rather special. Most of our sparkling wine comes from vineyards in Kent, Hampshire and Sussex, areas which share the same type of soil, which is chalk, as the um, champagne region itself. With the South Downs Ridge, the sort of hills of the south of England, being the other side of a large chalk and lime soil crater that spans the bottom of England and the top of France. And these hills mainly being south facing and the increased summer temperatures, the grapes just love it. Because of the similarities in growing conditions, the main grapes now planted in the south of England are the three main champagne grapes, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. And winemakers are also making English sparkling wine using the champagne method, the method traditionnel. There are now about 180 vineyards in the south of England. And whilst we don't have all of them here at the General Wine Company, we do have a good selection and I've picked out a few of my favourites to tell you about. And so the first ones I picked out are the Hambledon ones. Absolutely beautiful. There's a Brut and a Rosé. Um, if you like a very dry bottle of fizz, then the Hambledon Brut is the one for you. It's made of all three champagne grapes, so Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier and Pinot Noir. Um, it's very crisp, full of green apples, green gauges, a bit of plum in there, levels all out in the mouth and mingles with some floral notes and some stone fruit notes on the finish. It's lovely and it's £32.99. Um, then they have a rosé. This is a little softer with some strawberry notes and the palette is beautifully balanced with some tart cranberries and citrus, perfectly matching some juicy red and black summer berries and has a creamy buttery texture too that you find in champagne quite often. And this is $34.99, this one. Then we've got a lovely Rathfinny Blanc de Noir. Now Blanc de Noir, all that means is it's only made with the red champagne grapes, so the Pinot Noir and the Pinot Meunier. And these are grown on the south facing chalk slopes in Sussex. Um, it's more fruity than the Hambledon, and again there are crisp apples in there, but a slight hint of caramel, and that champagne creaminess comes through on the palate straight away. It's a lovely finish with long, sort of rich nuttiness at the end, and that's thirty-six ninety-nine. Very nice. Comes in a little box as well. I'm sure you. It's the box. Very smart. Finally, we've got an Upperton Allia. Blanc de Blanc from West Sussex. And again, Blanc de Blanc just means it's made with a white champagne grape, so just Chardonnay. Um, it's refreshing, it's rich, complex. You get buttery, brioche notes straight away on the nose alongside citrus and some floral notes. And then on the palate, there's apples, more citrus and plums, balanced perfectly with rich butteriness and a long buttery biscuity finish. Very, very nice, just like champagne. And this is 34.99. Now all these wines are going to go beautifully with your coronation quiche or your majestic chicken pie. Their crispy acidity is going to cut through the creaminess of both those things. And um, then the brioche butteriness is going to go perfectly with the pastry part of all those things as well. Very good match for this weekend celebrations. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. I've chosen the Upperton Allia as the Thirsty Thursday Wine of the Week basically because I really love it, um, which brings down the price from £34.99 to £31.50. So I do hope you like it too and you have a wonderful weekend celebrating. Like and subscribe if you can and I'll see you next week. Happy drinking team. Take care. Bye.